Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nick Acosta, and I just wanna bring some clarity on a topic for you guys. Uh, many times I've heard uh, conversations, teachings, and just plain, simple uh, references to people or to events, right? That take place in the church or in ministries, um, in the body of Christ in general. So I just wanted to touch on this real quick. So you ever heard somebody say that this person has um, they, they came with the spirit of division or they came with the spirit of anger and uh, they have the spirit of rebellion, spirit of this, spirit of that. And, you know, a lot of things that get named and titled, uh, we don't even see in scripture and we definitely don't see Jesus casting it out or telling people about it. Right. We see Jesus casting things out, but it's uh, it's it's mute, muteness, it's deafness, things like that. Uh, it's never a characteristic or personality trait, a flaw or a work of the flesh, which is what that really is. A lot of these things really are. So I've seen, I, I wanna talk about it because I've seen the confusion in the body of Christ. And, and that's what my job is, not only to, to grow um, and to not be confused myself, but to help others not be confused and get clarity. So the confusion comes like this, we, Hear somebody said that they have the spirit of rebellion or the spirit of anger or the spirit of this, spirit of that, even the spirit of excellence, right? And, and that's a term that even the world uses, but we use these spirit of this, spirit of that so much that it actually confuses people and hurts us because then we start thinking of the times when we acted like that or the times that we said this or, oh, oh man, I, I said that the other day. What if I have the spirit of confusion, the spirit of uh, debate, the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of, spirit of bitterness, etc., etc., etc. What if I have that? So now we begin to have faith in being oppressed or being possessed, worse yet. So this is where the confusion begins and it actually ends in fear and it probably does attract that evil that we're thinking about. So I want to let you know that anytime you say that somebody came in anger or somebody came in excellence or somebody came in laziness, whatever, it's better for you and for everybody that's listening to you, for you to not call them spirits of this, but let's start calling them attitudes of this. Oh, his attitude was anger or, oh yeah, I went the other day and, and um, to the store and I just had a, a, a like a lazy attitude. Like I didn't really want to talk to people. I didn't really want to go walk around. I, I just, I was just, you know, lazy. Like that's just normal stuff that the flesh can manifest. But a lot of times we think just because somebody acts in a way that we don't appreciate or like that they have a spirit of something and they're manifesting a demon or that a demon is manifesting through them. That's nonsense. It's unbiblical, unscriptural, and it actually hurts the body of Christ, not only the teacher, but the teacher who's influencing people. And now we have a whole bunch of Christians scared, running around in fear, which attracts the works of the enemy. It doesn't attract the things of the kingdom. Fear attracts the opposite of the kingdom, and it probably will attract some demons, or it will attract uh, uh, the manifestations of your fears, doubts, and worries, just like faith attracts the manifestations of the things Jesus paid the price for. So we're hurting the body of Christ by calling everything a spirit instead of an attitude. So I want to encourage you today, remind yourself that the only spirit that Jesus, that Paul, that Peter, that James, that John talked about of you having was the spirit of God. And the spirit of God is the spirit of wisdom, is the spirit of knowledge, understanding, power, all that. There's no different spirits. Even the seven spirits of the Lord in the Bible, it is the spirit of the Lord. He is those things. So remember that you have the spirit of the Lord. And if you walk in a way that somebody recognizes as lazy or tired or angry or divisive or rebellious, whatever it may be. Maybe you walked in the flesh a little bit. Maybe in that situation, I walked in the flesh a little bit. But it should never be a reason for us to start thinking that anything of the enemy is inside of us, but to remind us that we still have growing to do, a renewing of the mind to do, to walk according to the Spirit, the only Spirit that we have, and that's the Holy Spirit. Start calling the characteristics and the things you see by what they really are, and those are just attitudes, never spirits, because the one who is in you is greater than he who's in the world, and the strong man has to be removed 
removed in order to take over. And there is no strong man stronger than the Holy Spirit. And according to Jesus, that's the only one that fills your house. Amen. Love y'all. I'll check you guys out on my next video. I hope you like this, share this, and tell your brother and sister about this. Because the confusion must stop.